Welcome back to Millie Huckaboo. Today's video is one that's been requested over on our Instagram channel and it's the different training that I've done with Millie. So these are going to be quite a few different videos and I'll do them over time as she picks up more. What I'm going to be covering today is her name, a marker and sit. So these were the first three things that I taught Millie then once they know these, it makes a lot of other training easier. Before we get into the video, in case any of you are wondering, then these are the treats that I've used since Millie came home. So they are the Barker and Barker training treats, and they are suitable from when your pup is eight weeks old. And when they are that young, I struggled to find any treats for Millie that she liked, but she loved these. And you can also give them quite a few because they're low in calorie. So they're great for, especially when they're such a young age and you try and train new things. So I will leave a link to these down below. So the first thing you want to teach them is their name. And that's pretty easy to be honest with you. You just want to be saying the name, so Millie! And then giving them a treat. Over time they then realise that their name means good things. But you want to be saying it with quite a bit of enthusiasm and positivity. So Millie! Pretty easy. Name in a happy tone. Give them a treat. Millie! And over time they'll realise that their name means that you're wanting them and to give you attention and you won't always have to reward it. Millie! Millie is now 10 months old and every now and then I'll still do this basic training just to reinforce it. Millie! You just say the name, Millie, and then give them a treat. Pretty self-explanatory. And the first time I did this, I did it maybe 30 or 40 times. And then I started doing it randomly throughout the house. And then if she gave me attention, she'd get the treat. Millie! The next is your marker. You can either use a word or you can use a clicker. I've chosen to do both with Millie. So our word is Y-E-S and the clicker. The reason why I've chosen to do both is that when we're doing more complex tricks, it's easier to get the timing right, i found, by using a clicker. But you don't always have a clicker on you, so I say the Y-E-S word. To start this off, you just want to be clicking and then giving them a treat or saying your chosen marker word. So it doesn't have to be Y-E-S, it could be okay, whatever you want it to be really, but you just need to say it or click and give them the word. If you're doing both, I either interchange them or I did them both at the same time. So I'd go, yes. 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 Again, you want to be doing this maybe 30 to 40 times. Just so that they then associate the click or your word means that they're going to get a treat. Yes. Now it's important to know that when you're using a marker of whatever it is, if you've clicked or said the word and they've not actually done the treat, you still need to give them a treat. Because otherwise the marker will start losing its value to them and they won't realise what it means. Once you've got their name and a marker, you can move on to teaching them other things. And the next thing I taught Millie was sit and it's something that every dog should know because you will use it a lot for other commands later on. To teach sit, if they're not already stood up, make them stand. And then you want to be putting the treat on the end of their nose and lowering them into the position. So you can't see it very well, let's switch sides. So she's stood and then you lower them back. Yes. 
then the moment that bum hits the ground is when you want to be saying your marker word. Laura Matt, yes. As Millie already knows this, she's doing it naturally now. Yes. When they're a young pup, you might find that they're jumping up after the trees, that the it takes them a lot of coaxing and they just don't stay there. They might get out of position straight away. Yes. But once they've figured out the position a few times, then you add in the word. So don't say the word until they, they know that this is the behaviour you want them to do. And you have sit. Yes. Sit. Yes. Sit. Lower them up. Yes. Over time you'll be able to remove the lure and be able to just ask them to sit or do any hand signals that you've put towards it. I hope that helps you if you're just getting your pup. I'm not a trainer of any kind. This is all things that I've picked up from watching other YouTube videos and reading books. But the name is just about saying the name in a happy manner and then giving them a treat. And the marker is about saying the marker word or clicking and giving them a treat. And then sit, you want them to put the treat on their nose and lure them into the sit position, then use your marker word, give them the food, and then over time introduce the word. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If there are any other training videos you want me to do, then please let me know in the comments down below. If you don't already, then please subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post a new video. And go and follow us over on Instagram, at Millia Cockapoo, and we will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>